My name's Ben and today we've got this beautiful 2021 on a 71 registration Porsche 911 Targa 4. It's a lovely specification and the most important bit about the car is that it has covered just 3,000 miles from new. So it's extremely low mileage given the age of the car. Um, it's finished in the beautiful agate grey with the crayon and uh, sort of light grey top to the dashboards which we'll show you as we go around the car. It's got a lovely specification and a full Porsche main dealer service history and obviously still covered by its Porsche manufacturer's warranty until October of 2024. Uh, so Porsche main dealer warranty left on the vehicle which is very important to sort of a lot of Porsche buyers these days. But starting at the front end we'll walk you around, point out some of the spec and the options um, but starting with the headlights it's the PDLS Porsche Dynamic Light System headlights. You've got those four spot LED daytime running lights in either side of the actual main beam unit in the center there. So it's a really cool looking light with the Porsche logo on the inside there as well. We've got the very narrow LED daytime running light strip in the front uh, bumper here, which also doubles up as an indicator. And then the park distance control on the front is well hidden in that sort of front grille section. And then coming around the side, we've got the 20 inch front, 21 inch at the back Carrera Classic wheels with this really metallic gray on the insides and the diamond cut faces there as well with the Porsche crest in the center and the Porsche logo on the brake calipers there as well. And then coming around the side, obviously being a Targa, you've got the infamous sort of Targa hoop, uh, rollover hoop across the back here with the massive glass screen. We'll show you inside the car. So I'll open the door and have a look. Uh, you will notice on the bottom of the doors there is a Porsche courtesy logo uh, drop light on the floor. It's probably difficult to pick up in the video, but that is a cost option. And then you'll get a look at the beautiful two-tone interior in the car. So full lever on the seats. You've got the Sport Chrono pack, which you might have already noticed on the top of the dashboard. And that includes the mode switch on the steering wheel, which will show you how all of that operates as we get around the driver's side. But some lovely features like the Porsche crest in the headrest, the Porsche crest in the center armrest there, a 14-way electrically adjustable seats with memory settings as well, the Bose surround sound system, and we'll point out some more on the interior as we go around. We will obviously also show you the roof operating as well because it's quite a sight to behold with the whole glass section moving out of the way. Uh, coming around the back of the car, we've got the oval exhaust pipe. So when it's the single oval exhaust on either side, that means it's a sports exhaust system. So it's a switchable sports exhaust system with a button on the dashboard. And it's finished with the chrome tips, which go very nicely with all of the silver badging around the car. Silver painted tops to the vents on the back, uh, sort of engine cover here. And then obviously the full length light bar across the back of the car there as well. It's a really beautifully specced car. And we'll jump inside and talk you through some of the interior options. <laughs> So starting on the driver's door card, uh, obviously we've already pointed out the drop lights and the memory settings up here for those 14 way adjustable seats. So that's driver, driver memory settings here, which also saves with the mirrors, etc. And then coming down here, speaking of the mirrors, they are power folding door mirrors, obviously all electrically adjustable as well. And then down there, that Bose tweeter for the Bose surround sound system. Uh, all of these 992s now are keyless start, so I'll turn the car on and we'll go through some of the entertainment sections. Electrically adjustable steering column, so again, that will save with the memory settings on the driver's door card there, so it'll go up, down, forwards and backwards, all electrically adjustable. And the beautiful steering wheel here, which is finished in the grey with the mode switch as we touched on before, so you just twist that and you've got your normal Sport, Sport Plus and a wet mode and a configurable individual mode as well. I'll pop that back into normal. We've got a heated steering wheel, so there's a button hidden on the bottom and you'll see steering, steering wheel heating switched on and switched off via the button hidden behind the steering wheel there. And then all of your multi-function controls. So on the right hand side, these controls display, uh, or sorry, these controls control the screens in front of you here. So you can flick up and down all of the vehicle information a clean sort of display available there, your driving modes again, tyre pressures, uh, the, where the power's been distributed, G-force meters, sports chrono, and then back to that map. Uh, on the left hand side we've got a music skip button, a configurable button, voice activation and a volume button. Down behind the steering wheel we've got the cruise control stalk, so that's all operated through that stalk on behind the steering wheel there. And then again, we've got the uh, auto high beam available on those PDLS lights by pushing the indicator stalk away from you up there. Coming over to the center screen, 
I'll just exit this setup wizard. We've got the updated PCM infotainment. So this is sort of the second generation of PCM in the 992 model. So it's all wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It's obviously got Porsche's own navigation system in here, which is a, it's a very large responsive touchscreen, uh, very easy to use. If I pop the car into reverse, you'll see the reverse camera and the front and rear parking distance displays down there. Pop it back into drive. And then the only other thing is if I come into car, you'll be able to see the sports exhaust system, which you can switch from there. There's also a button on the top of the dashboard here as well to do that. Uh, very easy to access that whilst you're driving along. It does make a difference to the sound. And we've got a spoiler that will pop up at the back of the car as well. And then uh, coming down the centre, dual zone climate control, heated seats, and then obviously the roof controls, which I'll operate now so you can see that roof open. Uh, it's very clever how it works. I'll just shut the door so you can see it as if you were in the car. The whole rear screen gets lifted out of the way and then the sort of canvas top gets hidden behind that very nicely and the rear screen will close back over that. So you've almost got a convertible car where you can enjoy the sun with the roof off if you like but you're still very closed in in this cabin with that rollover hoop behind me. Uh, it's very closed in so you can drive it with the roof off on a cold day and I'll just switch it off and jump outside the car for you now. So the key bit about the car, and hopefully you've seen with the condition as you've gone around the car, but just 3,000 miles from new, 3,000 miles in just under three years is, is incredibly low mileage uh, for a car like this. And it's been extremely well looked after as a result. Full Porsche service history, as we touched on, and the beautiful color combination and some lovely options over and above a standard Targa 4. My name's Ben, I hope the video's helped. Thank you very much for watching.